now I'm off into the great unknown. Just the way I like it. As long as there's still McDonald's. That's all I need. Hi, my name is Isaiah Shields and for the last 450 days I've been walking across the country from the westernmost point of the continental United States to the easternmost point. At the moment I'm in Connecticut, 7,875 miles walked, and welcome to Walk America, my attempt to document that process. Enjoy. Alright, we are moving. It is so much warmer out here than it was yesterday at night. So I'm going to check out a few things here in Guilford for a moving on. Pretty house. I think it even has like a little thingamajiggy on top. That house right behind me. That one. That is the oldest stone house in all of New England here in Guilford, Connecticut. It was, construction on it began in 1639. For reference, according to a sign on it, that was when the Taj Mahal was also under construction. So, just as significant. Although perhaps the argument could be made it is not quite as grand. But it's still very cool. It was, I think, the Whitfield house? Make sure I'm doing that right. And he was the founder of Now You've Learned Something since watching this video. So go ahead and like it. I went and checked out a farm. Someone invited me to it. And then instead of um, staying on route when I left point, I came back into downtown Guilford. So there's parts of it I hadn't seen. And that's where I am right now. And it's a good thing I came back, because this is the first time I'm seeing this. And obviously someone made it. And I would have missed it entirely. Win-win. I was getting a tour of a place called the Highland House, built in the 1600s. Still standing, just back of the road. And, um... It was a long tour. <laughs> the lady was nice, but I was kind of just wanting to see the house. But... Anyway, and then it started to rain when I was inside. So I can't tell yet if it's going to be the kind of rain where I need to get out of it. But I can, didn't know if it was going to start raining hard. I needed to get somewhere. The moment's okay, so we're going to see. But I'm also on my way out of Guilford. There's a lot of interesting things to see. Every house you look at, it seems like is interesting. Like... That one said is it's built in 1790, 1764, so older than the United States. Everything you can think of that has, pertains to United States history as far as that being a country, that house has existed during it. Cuban Missile Crisis, World War I, World War II, everything. Civil War, that house was there. Doing its thing. Be in a house. Whoa, has a lot of outbuildings too. Saw those red ones. Okay, that's enough for now. Departing Guilford. It might rain tonight. It's all good. No more rain. And we're back on Route 1. It's raining again. It's always raining. <laughs> it's rarely raining. <laughs> Let's just get wet. Which I don't like. <laughs> I was 
running down the street to try and capture that. I did. I got here in time. Which is the good news. And uh, I'm admitting I'm still having a hard time leaving it. But I probably should because of dark <laughs> and cold. But uh, yeah, it's a tough call. Sometimes Mohawk America leads to difficult moments like this when you have to carry yourself away Big problems. I'm not moving very fast on the Connecticut coastline, which does worry me slightly, given the, uh, I mean, how can you move fast? How? How is a man supposed to do that? Everything looks like this. That's real. I find it, I find it almost, almost unbelievable. Um, so it worries me slightly. But whatever, it'll be fine. Probably. Um, while I've got such a great background to talk with and a light on my face, win win. I was sitting here eating a donut from something orchards, Bishop's, Bishop's Orchards, shout out. Um, a lady pulled up. <laughs> she goes, Do you need a spot for tonight? <laughs> I was like, I mean, I do have to sleep somewhere tonight, and I haven't figured out where that is yet. And so uh, I took a sunset picture, like, at this point, maybe 20 minutes ago, posted it. And she evidently follows me on Facebook, saw the picture, and was like, that's at the end of the street. <laughs> so she lives, uh, like, a quarter mile backwards. And, um... Ten houses up from where I happened to be at the time and I did have another offer but it's three miles forward but it's uh, yeah well, that was tempting too because it's such a warm night it feels great and it would have been fun night walking but Rosemary is the lady who offered me a spot she seemed really nice um that sounds kind of fun too so I'm probably gonna go to Rosemary's house. And by probably, I mean I am, because I told her I would be. And I'd be lame to not at that point. See you soon at the house, probably. Back on the road. Headed to Clinton. It ended up being. <laughs> It's funny, yesterday it said there was like a 20% chance of rain. Um, I think the weather took that personally, they're like 20% chance, watch this. That was one of the hardest rainstorms I've ever seen. So, it's a good thing that uh, Rosemary there invited me to stay with her. It was a very pleasant accommodations. She ordered pizza, everything was divine. Now I'm off into the great unknown, just the way I like it, as long as there's still McDonald's. That's all I need. Sure. I'm not sure where it happened or what happened because <laughs> um, I was having a, a fine old time. Now I'm just dead. Not um, physically like my legs feel fine. It's just all in my head. There is no energy left. 
I know I should care about things or find things cool, but I don't care about anything right now. But it's surely temporary, just like all the other times it happens to all of us. You gotta ride it out, as Russell Wilson would say. Let's ride. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.